Kawaguchi Auto Race in Tokyo. This is bike racing and people are here to bet. Let's go in and check it out. Now they call it an auto race, but actually they're racing bikes and these bikes are incredible. We're gonna take a close up look at the bikes. We're gonna watch some races and you guys are gonna love this. It's amazing. You would never guess that this is one of the most grossing racetracks in the country of Japan. But it's a Monday morning and it's quite dead. It's mostly all retired Oji-san. This would be my job right there. Checking the track for debris. what the hell's going on over here, but it sounds interesting. This guy is one of the odds makers, and he has a captivated audience. His kiosk is covered with pictures of racing greats. Here he is on the left with a legendary rider. Some of these are female racers. It's probably going to be me after a few more video games before I ended up calling it quits. So this is really exciting for me. I haven't been to a race since I used to go to the Multnomah Kennel Club in Portland, Oregon, where they have Greyhound races. And there's a mechanical rabbit called Rosie. And uh, the, the rabbit just goes around the, the entire track. Hi. You uh, come to the... <clears throat> and one unfortunate journalist got hit by that, Rosie was killed. Sad to say. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm just giving you the facts. To get closest to the action, you can come right up to the double cyclone fence for a full eardrum rupturing extravaganza. But it's better up here in the stands. The track is 500 meters and each race is six laps. to get permission to shoot from inside where the premium seats are. So I have to go get a, a badge. So this is where we have to go to get the all access PVG pass. Can't believe I walked past it twice. It's so obvious. Look at this guys. All access pass. We're heading to the premium seats for the next race. Let's go. This is whole shot. For a couple thousand bucks a year, you can have a reserved luxury seat above the track, or you can get a seat for the day with varying prices from 2,500 to 4,000 yen. Premium seats with a premium view. As long as we're here, I figure we got to bet on at least one race, right? So, here's how we're so I'm going 1,000 yen in on number eight to win and number four to take second. And by the way, number four is 73 years old. Amazing. Here they go. 45 degrees down on the track. All right, we're just going to skip ahead to the final lap. Okay, eight in the pink jersey is out front. Four in the light blue is in fourth. We need him to come in second for the win. 
Oh, he's trying to make a break. Is he going to do it? Come on! Oh, 8-1. Number four came in fourth. Hey, we love you anyways, Oji-san. 73 years old. That's awesome. Well, what a buzzkill. I didn't win. I knew I should have asked one of these guys. Real characters. These odds makers like to tout some of their biggest stars. This is Katsuyuki Mori. He left his pop idol life for the track. He's one of the biggest names in the racing circuit, and not only because of his pretty looks, he's got throttle. This is the Kawaguchi Auto Museum. We can see the bikes up close. Let's go on in. The first thing you'll notice is the handlebars are at a really wonky angle. This is because the track is a short 500 meter loop that's banked. They ride counterclockwise, and in the tight turns, the bars become parallel, enabling more stability. Straight pipes. This handle, that's for push starting the bike. There's no starter. The bikes on display in the museum are all older models of various makers. In any given era, all racers must ride the identical bike. This one's a triumph. So here's the specs on one of these bikes. It's a two-speed, dual overhead cam, four valve, 661cc. No gauges, no brakes. The smallest tank is. Just bare bones, 359cc. Look at this relic. I think this is the oil tank here in the back. This is superstar Maya Sato. She's helping to put female racers on the map. <laughs> I thought these were some of the racers. This is the wanted list. <laughs> wow, that's a hefty uh, reward. Rope Yakamon, it's about 60,000 bucks. Recognize any of these folks? Basil. This is interesting, they have a ladies room where they can escape from all the testosterone. It's like those ladies only train cars here in Tokyo. And actually I got on there once by accident and I realized it was all women. Today's my lucky day. So this is where you can see everything on the big screen. Now, unlike Whole Shot, this place is completely free. A nice theater setting, air conditioned and quiet. What strikes me as absolutely fascinating is how orderly everybody is. If this was anywhere else in the world, people would be out of their seats screaming. Okay, up next is a full race. I've got my zoom lens in. This is gonna be epic. How was that? As soon as a race is finished, the next racers enter the track and take a couple of laps to show what they're made of. Betters have a chance to see and hear the bikes and then place their bets accordingly. Placing their bets. Riders then head to the garage where bikes are impounded and inspected until just before the race begins. It's a gambling track, so they have to ensure there's no illegal mods to the bikes. They're so strict, in fact, the riders themselves are restricted from associating with anyone on the outside during the race dates. To ensure this, they live in dormitories. Kind of like being a monk, but real loud. Inspections complete, the bikes are all push started by the pit crew. And it's race time. The racers are responsible for working on their own bikes. And each rider is on the same bike, a Suzuki AR600, specially built for the track. So number two here is 69 years old. It's built like a fullback. How old do you think the rest of these racers are? You might be surprised. The rider wearing the pink number eight jersey is always the highest ranking in the race.
iron-soled sandal over their left boot for cornering. White number one jersey is always the lowest ranking in the race. the final bend it looks like it's going to be seven five and three for the finish and eight is just barely edged out by number three it's all over well, this has been one amazing day at the Kawaguchi auto race had a blast absolutely had a blast and I'm kind of sad about having to give up this armband because I wear it well but we'll be back. We will be back. If you're interested in visiting the Kawaguchi Auto Races, it's a 30-minute train ride from Tokyo Station and a short shuttle bus ride to the track. And entrance is free. Check the video description for English links. Coming up next on the Peter Von Gom Japan Channel, I took a trip down to Kobe, Japan to visit the Kawasaki Motorcycle Museum. Kobe is where it all started for Kawasaki. There's some really awesome bikes, some cool history, you're going to really enjoy this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And we'll see you on the next Moto Vlog. Ride carefully, and I'll do the same.